Hello, it's Thomas again. In this video, I'm going to show you the installation of Elastic Stacking Ubuntu, which is one of the most popular open source sim tools that are used within many modern security operations centers. So, ELK consists of three models, which are, which are Elastic Search that are used to store logs, Logstash, which is used to collect logs from resources, and Kibana, which is a visualization tool for the logs that are stored in Elastic Search. So, we'll start by installing the required models and dependencies for the ELK stack. So I have created this notepad which contains step by step guide and all the commands that are required to install this ELK stack. I will share the link to this notepad in the description. This module should be installed. So we run this particular command which contains all the modules that are needed. So now let's check Java version. So we have installed the Java. So now we have to run this command to add the Elasticsearch signing key. Add this repository, the Elasticsearch. So at, after adding the repo, we can update the system. So it will update the necessary modules that are needed by this repository. So now we have to install the Elasticsearch. After the installation, we will modify this configuration file in Elasticsearch. We will find this network section. And we will remove this hash from here. We should change this IP address to localhost. We have to uncomment this HTTP port. We have to add a line in discovery section. The discovery type is single node. Save this file and exit. Now we should start the Elasticsearch module, the system service. We can enable Elasticsearch service as a startup program by this command. Now let's check the status of the Elasticsearch service. Since it is active and running, we can continue to next. We will use this command to install Kibana. We have to do some modifications on this Kibana configuration file. Let's open it. We have to uncomment this line, the server port, and the server host. We should look for the Elasticsearch host. Uncomment this one. 
share this file and exit. Start the Kibana service. Enable Kibana service as a system startup program. Let's check the status of the Kibana service. Yep, it's up and running. We can start installing Logstash now. This time we have to create two mod configuration files instead of doing mod notifications like before. We actually use these files to load beats into Logstash. First we have to create the input configuration file and add these lines over there. Save and exit. Now we should create this output file. This will work as the filtering and output pipeline for the log stash. Now we will add these lines to this file we have created. Just save it and exit. Now we can start the log stash service. We just have to repeat the stuff that we did in previous steps. Add the service to the startup. If you want to stop these uh, services that we enable, uh, we can use this particular command. Let's check the status. Looks fine. We'll go to the next step. Now we should install the file bit module. This file beat is actually used to send the logs from different sources into the Logstash module so the Logstash can collect and send them to the last search. So after the installation of file beat we have to do some modifications on the file beat configuration file. So we have to find these lines over here and comment them. Comment this line and this line too. And we have to uncomment these commented lines. Now we can save and exit from this nano editor. Now let's get back to the same cyclic process. Start in the file bit service, adding it to the startup programs. And finally, checking the status of the service, whether it is up and running. Perfect. Now we should enable the modules from the file bit. First, we have to enable the system module, which enables file bit to collect logs from the system. We should enable the log stash module too.
नेक्स्ट देखिए बारह मॉड्यूल Now we have to load the index template into the file bit and set it up to the Elasticsearch hosts. Okay, we should use root here, sudo. Now we have done with the index setup. Let's start our file bit service. So as we have started the file bit service, we can check whether Elasticsearch is receiving data logs from the file bit. So the file bit is present in here, so we can assume that it receives data. We will just check it by accessing the web interface. So we will start here by adding integration. So we will search log stash here since we have configured log stash with the file bit. Go to this Linux Debian tab since we have completed Linux. So let's check. Okay, seems like something is wrong here. Let me check with the terminal. So let's try these commands and see what we have missing here. We'll try restarting these modules. So let's check if it is working now. Okay, not yet. We will see. Yep, it works now. So just try uh, restarting these modules so uh, you can figure it out yourself. Do it again and again until you come up with a solution. <laughs> so now we can uh, check those logs and see. So the log sign place. You can see these syslogs uh, here. So this is the main navigation menu of the web interface. You can browse and explore through each of these sections. Okay, let's go back to this integrations page. In here, there are a lot of integrations that you can add. Here you can see different logs from different sources. That you can add. So if you see inside this Apache HTTP server, you can follow the steps given in here to add Apache HTTP server as a log source. You can add this module to log stash using file B by following these steps given in here. As I showed you about adding the log stash integration, you can do the same by following the steps given in each integration. So here we are at the end of this video, hope you have learned something from this video.
subscribe for more content in the future related to cybersecurity so thanks for watching and uh, have a good day